Hello, my name is Corey Russell. Um, for this video, I'm going to show how to beat uh, the Cardassians. Uh, excuse me, how to win with Cardassians on Impossible uh, in a game called Birth, Birth of Federation. Um, I've been playing this game for pretty much ever since it came out in 1998, and by now I'll probably beat the game with all races like a, maybe a thousand times, so I have all experience doing so. So I'm going to share my tips, like what I do, and um, and possibly I might share some things about the game that people may not be aware of. Um, so, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Uh, I'm going to for this video, I'll be using Tech Five, all races, um, many minor races, impossible difficulty, um, and random events off. Now the reason for random events off, even though they can be fun for the player, uh, I find the computer can't deal with them very well. Uh, in fact, I've had some games where I had no ship battles at all, and all the computers were devastated by random events. So um, I want to be the, the AIs, not the random events, so I have it off. Um, and for some of you that may have not have tried Impossible yet, uh, it may sound intimidating, a level called Impossible, but... Um, Actually, though, a human is smarter than the AI. Um, only thing really dangerous that it does is that it concentrates its forces, which is something you should do, too. Uh, especially on the offense. And um, uh, the computer, all of the AIs will work hard to have strong intelligence, and that's something you should do, too. Um, but if you do these things successfully, you can definitely be the computer. And like I said, a human is smarter than a computer. So, anyways, I will also be playing on a regular galaxy. I find that to be the most stable. Um, there's a few other ones like, I think, Ring. Um, for no apparent reason, it can just get corrupted in it, and then like, it can't do the turn. So, uh, I find a regular to be the, mo the most stable. And I usually find the most interesting anyways, because um, you get very good layouts. Uh, and so, you can get interesting borders and things. And so... Anyways, so, and of course, I play on large. Um, so let's go ahead and get to the game here. Select galactic power to control. Uh, we have the unions. So let's talk real quick just about general what you know, what's special about Cardassians versus the other races. Um, Cardassians, as a lot of almost everybody knows, has strong intelligence. Um, they their hulls and their ships are greater than the other races, which is Makes ramming more effective. It also helps them with orbital bombardments, too. Um, let's see. And oh, and they can break treaties without a morale hit. In fact, they actually get a slight morale increase. Not much, but a little bit from breaking a treaty. Um, uh, however, they also have significant disadvantages. One of the most pressing ones is they're, they have severe money issues. Um, in the early going, and making an invasion fleet is challenging, to put it simply. Um, and, and then almost always your computer outbuilds you, and so you're like, okay, you know, they got more ships than me. My ships are worse than them. You know, how do we survive? Well, this video is going to talk about that kind of thing. Um, and the other issue is, um, oh, like I said, before they get their heavy cruiser two, could ask me, ships are pretty vulnerable actually. Um, almost every race, especially your Peter races, can just do really nasty damage to the Cadassian ships. So I'll talk about what kind of fleet makeups give the Cadassians the best um, bang for the buck and um, uh, best survivability. Um, you know, they can fight another day. Um, but anyway, we'll talk about that. So anyway, let's just go ahead and get into the game here. All right, we're in the game. Let's see what we got here. Cadassian, as always, it's 400 million people. Uh, Tetsies. Let's see. Ooh, not too bad. It is 
260. Okay, so that's that's an okay system. And what well, meridian? Uh, let's see, 110, 135, 65, uh, 230. That's okay. I mean, not amazing, but it's not terrible either. So okay, this is very workable. Uh, one of the first things I can do is go on the large map and see where the heck I am. Oh, great. In the center. The center on Impossible is by far the hardest. Um, because basically everybody wants your territory. So it is very difficult to keep people at peace with you because they all want a piece of your pie, basically. So, okay, this is going to be a challenge. Okay. Uh, so when the first thing they do is do research. So when they for sure their first priority should be the Hover Cruiser 2. Um, this ship, once you have this ship, you do way better in surviving it, the uh, opponents. Um, health on defense and offense. And you only need two techs, so it's not too bad to get. So one little trick I do is I put each one each tech I need at 50%. Um, even though that's the same thing as putting all of it in one, the reason I do this is I might run across a minor race that boosts research. Like, for example, um, the uh, Bandy will, uh, will give bonus to construction research, and the Chanoff will give um, bonus to weapons research. And, but the thing is, we have no idea where these minor races are or if we even run across them. Uh, so since we don't know which one will run across, I put research on both and that way when I do run across it, then I can immediately reap the benefit of um, of that of that research. Because like, for example I wouldn't like to put everything into weapons and find the bandy or excuse me find the channel and go, oh man, I could use the channel earlier. Well if I put it all in fifty then I can it can reap the benefit. That's the point. Um, and plus, we're all set in case you run across um, a science race like the Balkans or the Trill or the Cadonians who boost research across the board. Because then, um, it, like for example, the, the, the Balkans will increase at 35% each tech at the same time. So, um, so if you split it, you're actually getting 35% twice. So, which again greatly increases research. So, I find this pretty convenient to get. The, the, the heavy cruiser 2 is thinner. Um, okay, uh, we gotta do some terraforming here. This is a bigger planet, so I usually terraform the bigger planet first so I get the immediate benefit to the money. Um, let's see. Um, well, since I'm in the middle, I don't want to go too far out, actually, not right away at least. Um, to, to give me some time to develop before I run across uh, an empire. So I'm going to stay in the green and explore all that first before I um, start exploring the yellow range. So scales almost always should be set to avoid because um, they run across any capital ships, they're pretty much toast. Uh, but if there's such a void, it's possible they can avoid a combat. Uh, not guaranteed, but possible. Uh, okay, let's go to planets here. Um, like I said, research is pretty important, so I'm going to put everything into research here. A little extra food, okay, that's good. Um, oh, it's lithium. That could be handy, don't need it right now, but it could be in it later. So priority for sure is uh, we need to get uh, some research. So theoretical stimulators, and then intelligence or phoenix. Get some power, and there ain't, there's nothing else really pressing. Let's do the thing, I guess. All right. So next system and next system is basically the same idea. We want to maximize our research. Which isn't much for cadassians, but we'll take what we can get. Okay, so same thing. We need research, intelligence, energy, 
and um, let's get some free food here. All right, and a Herkadesia Prime. So I don't usually power all structures, but we'll talk about that in just a second here. Uh, most structures you want. This is 300, but it lets you see six spaces with the convert sensor array, so it's well worth it. Uh, let's see. Okay. So I usually don't power up the shields because they're not at war right now. And this gives me a little bit of boost to their industry by doing that. Uh, the first ship I build is almost always a heavy cruiser. Which is and I usually bite to get a head start on things. Um, it can be used for a lot of things. Uh, I might use it to build an intercession force in case I'm being raided by uh, AI. Um, I will often use it in conjunction with my uh, minor fleets that are invading the minor races. Uh, so it can bust through shields if need be, plus it can take planetary battery if need be. Um, and then finally, if I build an outpost or a star base, uh, putting a cruiser there will greatly increase its, its offensive and defensive potential. So, useful in a lot of ways. And then I almost always build three scouts. Uh, obviously to scout, but also because um, I would generally sacrifice them to the orbital batteries when I take minor races. So, of course, to take minor races, I need troops. So I'll do four troops. And because money is such a big problem, but Cadet's hands will do a couple of colony ships. Okay. Well, that's all I can do for this turn. So let's go ahead and Ah. Okay, this is actually good news. Because you, you can see there's a big empty spaces between a lot of the territories and my space. This is good because it means it's less likely running across empire at least early um so that means i have more time to develop so that is really good news okay nothing special about that system nothing special scout lines will keep going here um yeah go that way i guess Let's see heck user so i'll check that out calling ship new terraform Select a planet to terraform. Okay, nothing to do further for now. An alien culture has been discovered. The Melkorians are concerned about the effects of alien Um, They help propulsion, but we don't need that right now. So uh, basically, we're just going to take them over and and use them as a for money. So I'm going to go to uh, Malkor to begin my mini invasion fleet. Which mostly for minor races, it's not really empires. Okay, we are continuing our exploration here. And continue the thing. Okay. Everybody's doing the thing here. Culture has been discovered. The Nausicans are still an alien culture. Terraforming completed. Oh, terraforming complete. Okay. Um, so, of course, you want to. Your initial colonies you want to terraform a maximum, so I'll do that. Still building our forest on Mount Core. Uh, okay. Nazca is unimportant. They have a structure it keeps down the ground defense, but it's only for itself. So so unless the system is like, you know, huge or something, which sometimes it is, but if unless it is, it's um, it's basically unimportant. Computers, we don't need it right now either. So it looks like go down here and check out that territory. And everybody else is doing their thing. Yep. Continue building the fleet on my core. Okay, this destroyer has no more work to do because all the yellow is explored, so go to my core. Calling ship on its way. Scout on its way. Should probably check to see where the buildings are. They're still building. Okay. All right. Vision fleet proceeding along. Okay. Do some terraforming here. 
Ah, uh, good troops. I usually wait until I had two troops just to make sure I. I mean, usually one's enough, but just to be safe, I usually do wait until I had two troops. And once I have two troops on Malkor, I'll go ahead and do the invasion. The other thing too is you should not declare war on the on the race until like the turn before to that's to minimize the possibility of it joining a, a enemy AI empire. Uh, in fact, the AI empire will do will do the exact same thing. They'll wait until this before they invade or they declare war, and that's a good strategy, actually. Uh, okay, everyone's doing their thing, and are you idle? Nope, not yet. Terraforming completed. All right, seven troops on a Markor. Concentrate forces here. So these systems so far have been pretty unremarkable. Not impressed. Continue terraforming our colony. Oh, ship could be empire, but it could be a minor race too. Um, we're kind of expecting because this territory is all connected. We're sort of expecting an empire to come from that direction, anyways. So, um, what is our priority? If it's the Romulans, I probably want to invade Romulans sooner rather than later, because later on they get much harder to invade. They're much easier to invade early on. Um, but probably I'll just do peace, especially since I can just break the treaty of the Kardashians with no consequence, um, or, or little consequence, maybe we should say. But, okay. An alien culture has been discovered. The Benzites are terraforming completed. Aha. Uh -huh. I gotta do some building here. Uh, a lot of food, but that's okay because it just that means the colony will grow population faster, so that's, that's actually good. Uh, see, so you re education, so you need that for sure first. You need food, you need bunker. Uh, I don't have quite enough energy here, so let's get some more energy here. Um, maybe it should burn. Okay, this jazz yeah, trade good too. It has a long way to go. Uh, so probably food then to create a build faster. Model do bunker, shipyard, and I do want to do education, but it doesn't have much industry or power. So it actually probably needs food. Because then we can put more more uh, workers to energy and then we can build our educa our education center. Um, so that's one of the things that's impossible is that your morale goes down much faster. So um, re like things like re-education centers, any morale structure actually is pretty important, uh, impossible. Okay. Um, ah, next turn will be two transports. So time to declare war on the Macronians. Sorry guys, we need your territory. Yeah, keep terraforming there. Select a planet to terraform. Hmm. What is this? How many people is this? See, 45, 80, 125, 230, 255, 275. Huh? It's a good system, not an amazing system, but it's pretty good. Okay, Escal's have done his job for now. Can you concentrate? Innovation force, just in case we run across a enemy fleet. Notice our money is only ninety-five, which is not very good at all. Uh, but that's normal for Gadaskins. Uh, like I said, they desperately need to conquer territory and colonies to get their money up. Okay, get my troop concentrated. Nuclear war. Yep, nuclear war. Diplomatic news. And of course, Cardassians love declaring war. So, just in case they build a shield, I'll put the my cruiser as a last ship. And that way, if there is a shield, being the last ship, it will try to punch with the shield so the troops can get through. 
Usually, my races don't have shields this early on. Um, but uh, just in case they do, we'll be ready for that. Okay, Raging Queens and Monk Horror, so they need to terraforming. Okay, we're all good. Terraforming completed. Okay, so we're all done terraforming. So, Monk Horror, once we take it over, will be unterraformed, so to get the money up, might as well terraform that. And we are ready to invade. So, again, make my Cruiser the last ship. And let's do the invasion. Planetary assault confirmed. I've never seen it fail such a large force, so it should be no problem. Okay. Um nothing to do right yet. Nope. Yes. Invasion successful. Okay, good, good. Also scout, but that was to be expected. Uh, to the over battery. All right. So, what is the closest territory to go over? Uh, Benthar, I can't reach yet. I can't get the Nazkins and Banners. No particular order. I guess we'll head to Nazkins. Okay. Makar has a lot of territory to terraform, so I'll just speed that up. We'll get. Two colonies that work on it. Alright, everybody's doing their thing. Oop, whoa. Oh, that's right. So, um, this is important. So, one of the first things I do is almost always I'll build a shipyard just, and I'll buy it actually. Um, and then Inquisition. Because it's almost, it's very useful to increase the range of your ships all the time. Um, the other thing too is if you build an outpost which increased range, um, the shipyard is harder to destroy so it's more reliable. Um, so you don't want your ships to get stranded when the outposts get destroyed so again shipyard helps avoid that problem. Uh, okay, so nothing to do with it yet. Aha! Gracia is done. What do we need here? Well, there's no Empire races at the moment. So what you really need is colony ships. So how many systems we get to colonize? One, two, three, four, five. That one should be a, a, a should be a colonizable. So six, six colony ships. Okay. We need the money, so all colonies for Cardassians, at least if you're not playing at random events, are pretty much per really helpful. Select a planet to terraform. Select a planet to terraform. Um, does it matter? Well, of course, Nausicaa is going to need uh, terraform, so it must go there. Going on. Everybody doing anything. Of course, nobody's happy. There you go. Terraforming completed. Select for terraform. To terraform. Um. Hmm. Could build a subspace scanner here just to keep an eye out. Some some empire size a peak. Let's go there. Okay, you're doing your thing. Terraforming completed. Okay, now if you remember, the reason we built the food is we wanted to re education center. Actually, is isn't power with the stuff, but I guess I'll deal with it and get to it. Another colony ship. 
Does it matter? Not really. Let's just do Tertius. Almost done. For my part. Oh, right. So we're about to reach Nuska, so we will clear war. Because we'll, when the, the war arrives, we'll be right overhead. So that's perfect. Terraforming completed. We have received diplomatic news. Okay, this is the already gone. Assault confirmed. Select a planet to terraform. Alright, um, here's a colony over here. Well, I still need to know what the heck that's the colony. It's okay, let's go there. Um, the colony right here, that's fine. And everybody's near thing? Yes. On the scout, as expected. So, as usual, I will buy a shipyard, which I almost always do. And then, position to calm down. Again, turf arms. Select a planet to terraform. A divine arm. Perform. To terraform. You can go here, it's a close colony. Okay, this is a good start so far. Okay, nope. Um, industry is terrible. So I bought one, and I'll buy one more, and then that's it because it's 45 turns, and surely by the time it gets built, it's going to need Inquisition to calm it down. So uh, I'm not going to do much with that for a while still. So. Uh, another colony ship. Um, Right here, I guess? Yeah, sure. Alright, everybody on route, looks like. Select a planet to terraform. Uh, what was he doing? Everybody's doing something. Well, actually, why don't you turn on bikes? Colonization in progress. So a lot of times it makes it worthwhile to colonize even when you're not terraforming everything yet. And the reason why is um, it has your money right away. And then you can just later have a colony ship terraform everybody. The other thing too is by sticking territory, the AI can't take it unless it's a declare war. So that's the other reason to it's it's a good idea to just stick out your territory and, and then transfer terraforming later when uh, you get time. Alright, I got a lot of ships flying around. Everybody's in your thing. Yes. Reclaim the system. Terraforming completed. Alright, uh, there's not any special structures that, that are going to help. So I usually do one food, three assembly, and then three food. Um, oh, and then three assembly again. And the reason I do that is by the time it's all done, what it'll do is you'll have seven food and seven assembly, and you're ready for whatever you need to do next. Um, it gives it a good base. It's going to take a while to do this, anyways, unless you buy, but you have some money, like I said, is um, pretty bad all in all. So I won't try to buy it for now. And 
it, the growth is probably so small anyways, it won't matter. Um, I do buy like an, a planet that has very high growth or very high population potential because then it's worthwhile to, to, to buy. Because uh, a lot of times it grows so fast you can't even keep up even when buying. So um, it makes sense to buy in, in that case. That is just a small system, so I'm not going to get any benefit like that. Only one more thing to terraform my little jet. Okay. Um, we all have colonies, but we're very vulnerable. If someone were to come in our space, we are sitting duck. So let's get a couple more recruiters. So let's talk about fleets. So battleships, it's not a great ship, it's not bad. It's not bad. But the cost, on the other hand, for, especially for Cardassian, is horrible. 137. That, I mean, you can never build like nine of them right out of the gates. Cause they're just they're just insanely expensive. Um, Hedder Peter is good bang for the buck. Uh, and of course, heavy recruiters are even better. And that's the other thing too is we're going to upgrade heavy recruiters, too, so we definitely want plenty of heavy recruiters so they can get upgraded. Um, however, even in the beginning, um, you're a little, you're still a little limited. So what I like to do is, um, so let's see, how many? Let's do three, and then have like three strike recruiters. Because strike creators are only 73. So basically, for the cost of two hair creators, I can have three strike creators. And if you look at the firepower of the strike creators, um, it's way higher. Like 84 torpedoes, 12 of them, and hair creators is 76, 8. Way higher. Um, and it really helps against in case you hit, hit Frangi, uh, like uh, torpedo races, like Frangi and, and uh, Federation. So. Um, and that and that's kind of the key. Now, of course, once you have heavy cruiser two, you don't need to do that trick anymore because then you just do heavy cruisers all the way um, until like much later when you get the battleship twos. But um, in the early going, when money is critical, the strike cruisers can be really handy. The problem is they're really slow, but um, it's just kind of what you live with. But to compensate that, you do have the, the your good scanners, which um, which is what they're for actually. To help you help you um, move your slow fleets. Okay, it looks like everybody is doing their job. Yes. Okay. Can you? All right. He he still needs food, but he needs energy more. All I can build it right now. So let's pick out territory. Which territory? Only one more left. I'll go change the territory in comments. Okay, all done. Comments. Invasion fleet will take two more turns. Okay, so next turn of war. That way, when when the decoration arrives, we'll be right over here. Reclaim the system. Terraforming completed. Ooh, all culture. Um. These are really good because it's free food. It doesn't require any energy for the food, so that's pretty helpful. So now that I have lots of food because of the all culture, I like to build a lot of industry. And the reason to, be able to do that is that way the rest of the the colony builds quicker because of that. Get two more food and then upgrade the assembly. There's the other one. Okay. You can do charge collector with 100 energy. That's present. It's a pretty minor system, so there's nothing really pressing right now. So I think I'll just do my standard one food, three assembly, and then three food. Oh, 
Okay. Hills on Kais. Hills on Kais. Terraform. Select a planet to terraform. So we're going to go over on the binaries. Yeah, see, here's unknown ship. Could be Empire, could be Minor Race. Um, and that's exactly why I was building, that's why Kardashian is building a fleet, because I know the Empire, an Empire is coming. I don't want to be ready. I don't want to, I don't want to have only colony ships to face the enemy fleet. That would not be good. Select a planet to terraform. Reclaim this re re terraforming completed. We have received diplomatic news. Purchase confirmed. So standard architecture thing. Uh, this system would be okay population, so it's okay to build a little extra assembly and food. You know, charge collector. As well as some power. Purchase confirmed. And then standard one food, three assembly, three food. That's good. Need the assembly. Let's not buy that. Purchase confirmed. It's not upset right now, so maybe you can buy two. Or maybe you'll build two, I mean. Normally. Um. He still needs food, he's still growing, he's not max population yet, he's 232 to 260. Listing pose, that's probably a good idea. Maybe force labor power to get force labor to get more workers doing stuff. Uh, there's no special structure to build, so this is standard build for your colony that's not pressing. Fleet is ready to go, yes. Planetary assault confirmed. There's only one more left. Select Might as well finish it up for colonizing. Uh, this one's not fully terraformed, just go ahead and do that. My goodness, it's the Empire. This is a single ship, so it's probably just scout or colony ship. Well, if it is, my hyperpreser will be fine then, if that's the case. Terraforming completed. Uh, we'll buy industry. Purchase confirmed. Now, normally I buy a shipyard, but there's no industry, which is kind of more pressing. And I don't need to go that direction this second, so. The industry is fine, and then of course, I need to. Anytime you conquer a territory, you need to immediately do a morale, um, your morale um, task, which, is, which for Cadassian is the Inquisition. Is it food allocate? Or, oh, yeah, another one. Okay, here, put it there. Oh, well, uh, do you need energy? Oh, you need energy. Okay. okay. Select a planet to terraform. All right, it looks like the Benzer are next. Okay, I notice I'd be going to a neutron star, which I could lose scouts if I do that. So adjust our course slightly to not run into a neutron star. And when we get near Benzer, of course, we'll we'll want to declare war anyways, and then then head over Benzer space. And is there nothing more to do? Yeah, everybody's doing working. Okay, there's not excess food except for ones that are growing, which is fine. So, okay, we're all good. Terraforming completed. We have received diplomatic news. Take everything we have except our free will. That is ours and so are mine. Huh? Okay, whatever. We're coming for you anyways. Um, okay. Call this guy. Colonization in progress. 
And cruisers for touching it. Good, good, good. Select a planet to terraform. So if you have enemies nearby, it's it's a good idea to have a ship or two with your colony ships so they don't just get um, surprised and destroyed. Reclaim this system in the name of Cardassia. Oh. Okay, now this one can build both power structures, charge and wind. So in that case, it might make sense to buy a whole bunch of structures because it has a lot of energy. Purchase confirmed. It's the only thing we can build for the moment for uh, non basic structures. Um, all right, hey, freezer, get concentrated. So, remember, impossible, you want to keep your forces concentrated, you don't want them picked off. Okay, is there all in your job? Terraforming completed. That's what we're buying here. Purchase confirmed. Might as well buy Phoenix and there. Select a planet to terraform. Select a planet to terraform. Terraforming completed. Purchase confirmed. All right, now we clear the neutron star. We can head straight to Benthar. Select a planet to terraform. Terraforming completed. We never did build a sheep bird. No, we never did. Okay. Purchase confirmed. Brown? No. Uh, any more industry? 231. Okay, whatever. It's a long time. Uh, Meridian. No power because it's. Right, because there's not much pollution to begin with. Okay. Um, there isn't that much population, anyways. I think I'll max the food and then put it into intelligence since. Population school. I'm not going to worry about the upgraded scanners on this planet because it's not very, population is not very big, anyways. The power. Yes, okay. Select a planet to terraform. Terraforming completed. Oh, max population. Uh, hmm. All right, three industry, which is not doing anything. So six transfer scout. Do I do that? I could do that. Well, you know, I don't need intelligence this second, actually. Yeah, not, I haven't met an emperor yet. So, actually, now it's only two turns for a scout. I'm going to see the scouts, not bad, because I can use them to bombardment. Um, plus, in a, in a pinch, they can be used for ramming. And most scouts would be useless for ramming, but Cardassian scouts can actually uh, do some good damage for ramming. So, um, for them, it can actually help. But, especially like a race like Klingons who don't have a lot of hit points, anyways. Uh, okay, so that's terraformed. Let's check it, buddy. That is not terraformed. That is terraformed. So get down here and get that terraformed. Okay, Benzar. 
Move the overhead next turn, so we will declare war. So as you can see, because our money is so limited, we don't usually don't bother with diplomacy. I think Edo is an exception to that because Edo actually like you, so it doesn't cost quite much to to uh, get them on your side. But for the average race, it's usually not worth it. It's usually more efficient just to conquer them. Okay, so this one's not terraformed. So let's get that terraformed here. We have received diplomatic news. Oh, right. That's our last troop. Monetary assault confirmed. So Cardassian needs to build some troops. Because for sure there's more minor races, plus we might encounter a number. Guessing it's an empire of this direction, so we're just concentrating our forces. Oh, really? They beat us. Wow. Four left. Okay, you know what? Change of plans. Come down here and let's just bombard them to oblivion. A little drastic. There's only four million left anyway, so and then they're gonna be upset, which is even more useless actually, all around. Um, but I can replace it with loyal Cardassians, and um, then it's the situation is a bit better. Let the colony ship. Okay, you get down to Bithar. So at the hour mark, I'm gonna um, I will cut the video short, um, and then I can do a, another video for the next part. But uh, for now, this we're looking surprisingly safe. Thought it was gonna be bad, but thanks to the uh, large border area, it's taking a while for the empires to get to us, which is good news. All life and limbs are destroyed. Oh. Well, in that case, the ships don't need to be there. In that case, since we saw some ship towards Terrid, let's just send our guys there. Um, it's okay to have a scout, a single scout there, because he can protect the colony ship. I'll show you the turret. Okay, he's terrifying. He to work. Select a planet to terraform. Everybody building? Yeah. Well, I'll actually, oh, that's right, because he's. Oh, I remember. Well, I should have at least one guy there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. Unknown ship. Um, well, I don't know what it is, so let's... Tensile force will engage hostile vessels. Let's give it a parachute just in case it causes trouble. Flash this on its way, yes. An alien culture has been discovered. Greetings from the United Federation of Planets. We come in peace. In the hope of an informative exchange of cultural and scientific knowledge. Terraforming completed. Okay, not too bad. 34 turns for a meeting an empire. Not bad at all.
Since they're gonna run anyways, I think I'll just hail. Understood. As you say. So we'll get the morale victory, or get morale bonus for the victory. Um, plus, because we didn't shoot them, they'll probably do a non-aggression. Um, and non-aggression will help me see where they are and like how big they are and you know things like that. And, and we can break the treaty any time, so it's uh, you know it doesn't really bind us, not for Gadesians. So. Enemy is disengaging again. They have escaped. Colonization in progress. So, and again, the reason to colonize it, even though it's not terraform, is to take territory so the creation doesn't colonize it right under, underneath me, basically. Alright, so now that we found the Federation and they came from the right somewhere. Task force will avoid engagements. We will want to find them. So because adding soul to the Empire would be very helpful. Reclaim the system. Terraforming completed. We have received diplomatic news. Purchase confirmed. So as we mentioned, because we build agriculture, we can build industry faster on this system. Agriculture is a great one to have. Non aggression, sure. The treaty will be accepted. Ah, fifty turns. Well, if I was any other race, I'd probably ignore that or say no, but we don't care because we can break the treaty anytime. Select a planet to terraform. Um, Task force will avoid engagements. Get Tam back with the group unheard. Okay, we met some races, so we'll want intelligence now. Nothing we're going to build. Um, shadow, I guess. So we want a piece of the Klingons. So, since the Klingons are a warlike race, the best um, best tone is the third one. Your, your, the third tone is the warlike races, your scientific races are the first one, and then your all other races are the middle one. Ah. All Federation space. Okay. So, not right this little spot. Okay, fine. Go punch up, punch up. Okay, this is starting to get interesting here. Get to my concentrated fleet. So one other thing is the computer knows when you're militarily weak. So um, they will often decline peace if you're weak, because they, they think it's easier to take your territory. This is one reason it's always important to keep a strong fleet, because um, then they're more likely to do peace with you. Uh, plus, of course, if they attack you, you actually are in a position to defend yourself. OK. 
Okay. Um, he's, we have lots of stuff that needs terraform, so he'll, he won't colonize, he'll just terraform the stuff that needs terraform. Um, okay. So I think that concludes for this first part. Um, in the next part, we will have to be dealing with the Klingons and the Federation. So it's something that got much more complicated. But we do have a solid empire of 200 credits a turn. Um, we have a defensive force. Um, so it looks like we're in okay position so far. Um, let's, look at, let's look at the overall empire status. Oh, let's see. If I do so, judge the economy. If I do so, judge science. Probably science, yeah. Um, okay, so we have 14 territory uh, systems. They have variation of 8 and Klingons have 11. The Klingons are pretty close in power. Pretty close. Um, so if they if they want me to declare war on variation, they probably will because they're the weaker ones. So, I, um, so we can just kind of pick on the Federation a bit. Okay, uh, that's good for now. Um, I will cut it short here, like I said, and uh, we'll see you uh, next part.